Time to go to school. Good morning. Oh. There you go. Kitty, Here they come. Here they come. Let me see your beauty you got last night. <laughs> well, we in our beauty sleep. <laughs> it's time I go to school. I'm right here. Get up and come get me. Okay. Time to go to school. Time to go to school. Time to go to school. And there goes the school traffic. Go ahead. Kitty Patiti. Look who I found. Yeah. We're finished dropping off our babies and headed home. Yes, thank you. Time to turn up. <laughs> so I just made it home from dropping the boys off at school with the hubby. And I pray that this school year goes well. I'm sure it will. All will be well. Um I will be well. <laughs> Um, I could do some things. I'm all glistening. I could I could do some laundry, some ironing that I need to do. Put some laundry in the washing machine. But instead, I'm going to get back in the bed. Because mama is tired from this summer. <sighs> this is my break until 2.30. Signing off till they get back. <laughs> so... Mommy time is up. <laughs> I'm sitting out here on the porch waiting for the boys to get home and so I can hear all about their first day. I'm very excited to hear about it. I'm well rested and I'm ready for them. <laughs> Hopefully they have a good day. Hopefully as soon as they get off the bus, they're smiling, they're happy. <sighs> we shall see. Here they come. Here they come. Yay, they're happy. <laughs> Look who I got. Who I got. My baby's home. My Romy baby's back there. Home. How good was school today? Good. Good. Well, awesome. Oh, rock hands and everything. Yeah. Do it for the vlog. <laughs> Nick, Romy, how good was school today? Good. That, that that's all we get. Excellent. He's like our little teenager. It's ridiculous. Talk, boy. Talk. <laughs> I need to get these kids a snack. Mm -hmm. Bye. Lunchable. Ain't nobody no lunchable. I was sitting here outside waiting on the boys again for them to get off the bus, and I was just thinking about how yesterday I was so worried about them going back to school. Not so worried, but just the usual mom wor worried about them going back to school, them liking their teacher, liking their classmates, making friends, not being bullied, things like that. And of course, they came home and they were fine. They said that they had a great day, um, which gave me some peace in my heart. It's not even like it's a new school. It's not like they're in kindergarten. They are in second and third grade, but I almost like talk myself into thinking like, oh, you worry for nothing. And it's not for nothing. Although my children did have a great day yesterday. Some kids go to school and they don't have a great day. 
and maybe they didn't have a great day today the worry isn't for nothing because like bullying is real like not making friends is real like not having a good teacher is real and I just wanted to like give myself permission to worry about my children it's that's my job let me worry about my children and I'm not gonna feel bad about doing it and if there's any mom out there who's watching us watching our channel sing it their way I give you permission to worry about your child too <laughs> because of course there's a limit to everything you don't want to be a worry ward about things that you cannot control but you do I think worrying is a healthy thing because my worry also translates to me taking action and that action with my children is building their confidence and their self-esteem to where if someone didn't want to be their friends that wouldn't end their life you know what I mean like they wouldn't be like oh my gosh he didn't want to be my <laughs> it would be okay because uh, my worrying also not only gives them confidence um, socially but academically as well so that if they have a teacher who isn't um, pushing them or um, committed to their education as much as we are that's okay because they do have me and their father pushing them when they get home or giving them additional work if we don't see um, that their teachers are doing that for them so this whole rant is just about me giving myself permission to worry because my worry translates into me giving my sons the tools they need to overcome the challenges that I worry about. So even if the challenges don't, don't come their way, I know that they are prepared. And that's just part of parenting. It's preparing your children for the possibilities of what things could occur in life and what may happen in the future but that's enough of that <laughs> so did you have a great day yes I had a great day actually I had a wonderful day <laughs> he's so funny Romy and I are working on his what are we working on Romy my writing notebook project like it's the cover for your writing notebook. Mm -hmm. You see, he has his tablet out, and I'm actually working on it. Whose assignment is this? Mine. There it is. Okay. And so, so when I, yesterday when I was going to bed, when I was laying down talking to my brother, we, we I'm like I'm wet. I'm like wiggling this tooth with this finger. Mm -hmm. So when I wiggled it twice, mm -hmm. up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. The last time I did it, when I went up, it just popped right out. Popped right out. Well, that's not really a whole tooth. That's a fragment of a tooth. Open your mouth. That was at the back, back here, just sticking out. So he got it out of his mouth. So we're not gonna put that in a zipper bag. Tooth fairy don't want no fragment of a tooth, but. I'm glad you took that out. It's like a piece of wisdom. It's a piece of wisdom. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of wisdom. Okay, you can put it in the trash now. Oh, Lord. Ah. Ah, I can't sneak up on you guys. Yeah. I heard. <laughs> I heard. I did it. It's been a busy day, and it's not even over. I'm Obviously, I'm sitting out here waiting on the boys to get off the bus. And let me just tell you about my day. So after getting the boys and my husband off to work and to school, I went to the gym and I was there for a little over an hour. Then I went and got me a snack from Walgreens, uh, which was just some almonds and some water. Then I went to print off Romy's writing cover that we created yesterday. And then I journeyed to the um, beauty supply store because I want to do some box braids in my hair um, hopefully tomorrow and I wanted to go ahead and get that out the way but instead I ended up going to Publix first where I got some um, some more food for me like me and my best friend are doing a a um, program 
I'll just put it that way. And so I needed to get some special food that I did not have. And then I went to the beauty supply. And so then I get home. I have to put up all those things and meal prep for the week. But while my food is cooking, I go upstairs and I wash my hair. <laughs> and put conditioner on it. And so then I come down and I clean the kitchen. And then I finally get to eat a complete meal which was I guess some turkey and some asparagus um, while I sit and condition my hair and then after that I went up and what did I do oh I continued meal prepping I put some more uh, some fish in the oven while I run upstairs to uh, rinse my deep conditioner out I got so engrossed in my hair process that I forgot that the tilapia was in the oven. Not even just my hair process. I started cleaning up my master bedroom. I started cleaning up my bedroom. That's the problem. And I got so engrossed in not just doing my hair, but also cleaning up my bedroom that I forgot about the tilapia. So I go down there and thank goodness, I mean, a little crisp, but that'll be, it's fine. It's still edible. And, um, and now I'm out here. It's crazy. Like the day goes by in a flash, I swear. It's like, as soon as they leave the house, it's like a ticking time bomb. Hey, it is a, what is it? A Thursday night. And I am going to the movies. I'm so late. Everybody I know have seen Girls Trip. And I'm finally gonna see it. I'm gonna see it with my friend Jamie. So that's where we're headed. I'm so excited. There's my friend Jamie. <laughs> oh, girls trip. Yay. I'm on. I love you. Good morning. It is Saturday and um, I didn't talk to you guys after we left the movie, Girls Trip. I know probably everybody who's watching has already seen it. I know I was late to the party. But, so good, so funny. This was the first full week. I mean, they started school on Tuesday. But the first full week of school for the boys. And I feel like everything went well. Um, one of my t boys' teachers is a great communicator and I love it. The other one is kind of silent and we're going to have to work on that. <laughs> Let me not ignore the elephant in the room. Yes, I have braids. And I did this yesterday. It took me about five hours. I hadn't braided my hair in a long time. So my muscle memory had like diminished or whatever. So it took me like almost two hours just to get back into the groove of how to braid. Today we are getting ready to go on a bike ride. So the whole family can get some exercise. I, I was thinking about going to the gym, but the hubby suggested we go on a bike ride so that everyone can get that exercise. So I'm like, sure. So we'll take you along for that. We're gonna continue to go that way. And Either we're gonna get tired and wanna go back or we'll find a no way. Or we'll be stuck out here for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty much finished with our hike and we're taking a little break on the bench before we leave. It's, the exit is just like right there. You know, yeah. a little bit. But um I gotta show you this beautiful view. We couldn't leave without experiencing this. Peace. We went from all the way here to all the way there. Not bad. It looks so short on there, though. Did it feel short? No. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
friend of my son who just had a surgery. We got some goodies for him. Hopefully this will cheer him up and his old man. We just went in and out of Lennox Mall, like some thieves in the night. <laughs> All we wanted was Garrett's popcorn. Got the good stuff. We got it. Got the good, y'all. You want your bread? Dinner at Five Seasons Brewery. Is it good? Yeah, it's really, this one is really good. This, this is, is the, the whole reason, whole reason why we're here. This is the Seven Sisters. Because he wants to get their, beer. Uh, their favorites are their best. It's really good. And that's the end of our vlog for this week. Did you notice we have a new intro? Make sure to thumbs it up. If you like our new intro, comment and subscribe. Make it a great one. <laughs>